Hello and welcome to episode number 20 of the Slate Aspire tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to create the perk model and perk system. Let's go! First, let's create the perk model. It will be a plain c -sharp class, as all our models are, and it will need a constructor with perk data as parameter. We then save the perk data as a variable so that we can read data from it. Then we will have an image property which will return the sprite from our data. We also save the condition and effect here so that we have a quick access to them. Then we will have an onAdd and onRemove method, which will be called when the perk is added and removed. In those methods, we will call the subscribe and unsubscribe condition methods from our conditions. We also pass the reaction that we want to subscribe and unsubscribe. We don't have the reaction yet, so let's create it. In the reaction, we first check if the subcondition is met. If that's true, we can move on with the code. Otherwise, the reaction is not triggered. Then we create a new list of targets. We then check if we should use the action caster as target for the reaction and also if the game action has a caster. But for the second part, we need to change a few actions a bit. We need an interface. In Unity, we create an interface folder in the scripts folder and we create the I have caster interface there. We change class to interface and delete the mono behavior, of course. We then create a property that all classes that use this interface will need the competent view caster with a get. Now we have to change the attack hero game action because it has a caster. The attacker will be the caster in this case. The deal damage game action also will have a caster. Either the hero can deal damage to enemies or enemies to the hero. The caster will be the one who performs this game action. In this case we have to pass the caster as the parameter. But not all game actions will have a caster. That's why we don't have it directly in the game action class. But if you want to have a caster for each action, you could of course just implement it in the game action class. Then back in the perk script, we can finally check if the game action has a caster. And if both conditions are true, we can add the caster as target. We then also check if the perk should use the auto target and in case it uses the auto target we can add the targets which we get from the target mode to the targets list. Here you always have to make sure to configure your data right. If you set the bool for the auto target to true you also have to provide a target mode in the auto target effect. Don't forget that. Then in the end we create a new game action from the effect. We here have also to change the effects get game action method a bit. The method needs the caster as parameter. And back in the perk script, we will use our hero here as the caster because the caster of perk effects will always be our hero. We then also add the perk effect action as reaction to the action system. Because we have changed a few things, we now get a few errors in Unity. Let's fix them. In the deal damage effect, we now need a caster. We also pass it to the deal damage game action. In the draw cards effect, we also need the caster parameter. 
but we won't need it for the draw cards game action. Then in the effect system, we also have to pass the caster to the get game action method. It will here also be the hero. And the last error we have to fix is in the enemy system, where we create a deal damage game action, which needs a caster as last parameter as well. We are almost there, but we now also need a perk system that will manage our perks. We create one in the systems folder and also add it to the scene. The perk system will be a singleton. It will have a list of perks. We then can add and remove perks with the add perk and remove perk method. We also have to call the onAdd and onRemove methods on the added and removed perks. Now in the match setup system we can add a perk from a perk data. In Unity, we then also have to set the perk data on the match setup system. And now we finally can test the perk system. In play mode, when we end the turn and an enemy attacks, we call the counter attack perk and deal damage to that enemy. Very cool. At the moment, we cannot see which perks the player has. In the next episode, we will create the perk UI so that the perks are visible to the player. If you enjoy my videos, I would really appreciate a sub and a like. It helps me a lot. Thank you for watching and see you next time.